To start a job, simply push the menu button, use the rocket to highlight new job, and push enter. You can zoom in or out to give a better view. And you are sitting at top of where the green arrow is on screen. As you start driving, the screen will start moving underneath you. And when you turn the spread switch on, it will start painting in. And the area that you've covered will show in the blue band at the bottom of the screen. It's just a case then of simply driving around your field, driving where you need to drive in order to do the job properly. Every time you turn your spread switch off, it stops painting in on screen. And when you turn your spread switch back on, it paints in again. You do not have to go around the outside of your field. You can, if you wish, turn around and go back the way you came. And I'm going to illustrate this by zooming in a bit. It's too far. We'll zoom to about that point. I'm going to turn off. Turn around and drive back the way I came. Now you will notice as I drive along, it paints in blue when I start to overlap, such as now, and leaves a white gap when I go wider. simply a case of driving along parallel to where I drove before in this case. Now a point about area covered down the bottom, you'll notice that if I come across and cover over where I went before, and it starts colouring in blue, that now that I'm going over where I was before I'm not covering any new area so that figure stays the same but my nominal area, which is the distance I've covered times my spread width, stays the same. And you'll see that as soon as I turn off this track, my covered area starts rising. At any stage, I can zoom out to get a better view, or zoom back in to get to see closer. When I've covered as much as I need to cover for the day, I simply push Menu and go Stop Job. The job is now stopped. I can restart that job by pushing menu, go into manage jobs. When I push enter, because it's my most recent job, here it is showing at the top of the screen. It's called it job one, and you can see it on screen. I don't want to start that job again. I want to start a job that I finished previously called job two. So I'm going to push menu and come down to resume and push enter. And if I zoom out, there is job two sitting behind me. And I can just turn around and drive across into that field and carry on where I left off before. about the level I want and I can now just start spreading in this field as it suits. I'll come up to this corner turn around and start driving again at any stage while I'm driving, I can zoom in or zoom out. Now in this case, I'm going to stop the job, but I want to give it a name first. So I'm going to go Menu and go into Job Details. And I'm going to push the Page button until I move up to the top. I can check by going across to Summary and see what area I've covered. And when I started it, I'm going back to Description. I'm pushing the page, it takes me down to here. Now because I'm in an a, a editable or box, if I push F2, it brings up my keypad, so I can change the name of this job. And we might want to call it 
just for example, urea, at a rate of 100. I push the F2 button to get rid of the keyboard. I can put my client name in here if I wish to in the same way by just moving around on the keypad. I could if I wanted to also plug a USB keyboard into my track map unit if I want to enter a lot of details. In the same way I can push the page key down and change my name the order number and any other comments. I'm not going to add any, I'm just going to go to OK and push Enter. So now when I push Menu and go Stop Job, I'm back to No Job on the screen. When I go Menu and into Manage Jobs, and there is that job now called Urea 100. If I want to get rid of that job, I go into Manage Jobs and say I want to delete this job, Job 1, I go Menu and this time I go down to Delete. I only want to delete the selection. Go across to OK and that job is now permanently deleted.